What's up guys, I'm Dimitri with Hara Canucks and next generation NVIDIA Pascal GPUs are here. The GTX 1080 and GTX 1070. There are plenty of exciting things to talk about. So here's everything you need to know about the launch. So first come all the known specifications which are fully revealed for the GTX 1080, but most of the information for the 1070 is still unknown. But the GTX 1080 has 2560 CUDA cores, it's clocked at 1607 MHz for the base and 1733 for the boost, it comes with 8GB of GDDR5X VRAM versus the standard GDDR5 on the GTX 1070. Memory speed is impressive at 10 GHz with pretty large band with a very impressive TDP of 180 watts, which is only 15 watt difference between the GTX 980. Now, one thing to notice is the lack of HBM2, as everybody was excited to see high bandwidth memory on an NVIDIA Pascal GPU. However, yields are not there yet for the consumer version stuff. Um, HBM2 will most likely be fo first focused for um, the Tesla stuff and the enterprise solutions before rolling out into the consumer stuff. But we have the fast memory with the GDDR5X on this new 1080. There are some physical changes on the reference card, which is the Founders Edition. So the design language still looks familiar, but it's a lot more angular now with the same illuminated GeForce logo. This would certainly make for some excellent hardware photography, but let us know what you think about this design in the comments down below. And this is the Founders Edition, which will have have a price premium over the board partner version, which would be cheaper, and it will have all the custom coolers uh, designed and slapped on by the port partners. The card is still 10 and a half inches in length like previous reference designs and for uh, the IO we have three DisplayPort 1.4 outputs, a single connection for HDMI 2.0B and a dual link DVI. And I'm pretty sure everybody was super impressed to see only a single 8 pin uh, for power at the back for the GTX 1080 which gives us that confidence in Pascal and its power efficiency. And to put everything into context here, uh, with the new 16nm FinFit process and the Pascal architecture uh, that brings so much improvements basically across the board. And everybody was super impressed to see this slide with the expected performance, saying that the new GTX 1080 is faster than dual 980s in SLI. That's pretty crazy. And of course we have the card in our lab, so make sure to subscribe to see our results. Now NVIDIA is heavily focused on optimizing their hardware for VR applications and the new 1000 series could not be better timed as HTC Vive and Oculus Rift hit consumers' hands as we speak. And seeing these graphs is really exciting, especially for virtual reality expectations. Another major thing to notice is the leap in performance that the new graphics cards are bringing to the table. Just to give you a better reference, when the 980 was launched, uh, it was about 25% faster than the GTX 780. So the new GTX 1080 is about 75% faster given on these graphs um, than the 980. So it almost seems that Nvidia is skipping a generation of performance uh, compared to what we've seen in their previous releases. And that's really cool. Next thing is price, and this one has everybody excited. So the GTX 1080 will be priced at $599 and uh, $379 for the GTX 1070, meaning it's not far off pricing range from the 980 and the 970 when those were launched. The one thing to clarify here though, is the MSRP is $599 for the board partner GTX 1080. So when they will have custom coolers, that will be a cheaper card than the Founders Edition, which is the reference uh, GTX 1080. So the aluminum shroud and the blower style heatsink, that will be a $100 premium to $699, which is strange because in the past, usually the reference cards set a base price and they go up from there depending on the cooler. But here, that's really not the case. Now there's no official information on what will happen with the GTX 980 and the 970. Perhaps we'll see some price drops here and there given uh, how many cards are in circulation at the moment, but uh, maybe even the 980 will be given an EOL status or the end of life status, perhaps discontinued so that Nvidia can uh, you know, hardly push with Pascal. And so all in all, everybody's super excited about the new launch, the GTX 1080 and 1070. How do you feel? We have the card in the lab. Make sure to subscribe to see the full benchmarking results and everything like that. June 10th is the launch for the GTX 1070 and May 27th is the launch for the GTX 1080. 
I'm Dimitri with Howard Canucks. Before I go, I will leave you with a quote. Imagination decides everything.